What's going on, people of the internet? I'm Andy with Cut and Clean Lawn Care. And today, I'm heading over to Danny Lanier's house. He's got a new blade sharpener and blade balancer. I've always done my stuff myself with an angle grinder and a nail on my workbench, which isn't the most best way to do it. I was gonna open my tailgate, but it's closed, so hold on. Cool, dude, you're like Logan Paul with the transitions I know, bro. Oh, the whoop on shirts is a glitch, man. Anyways, I got a bunch of blades I'm gonna take over there to get done over at Denny's. I got some of the uh, Encore blades, some of the Gravely blades. I'm gonna go through, sharpen all these, get them balanced, and see if it makes a huge difference. I'm thinking it should. Uh, with the angle grinder, it's really hard to stay on that true angle of the blades, and it's really easy to get them unbalanced, taking a little more off one side than the other, and the nail's not really true, so we're gonna head that way. Uh, get this going and see what else we get into so guys we'll see you in a little bit But one of the things I was going to talk about, one of the main reasons, besides coming to hang out with Danny, that I was going to do this, uh, not being able to balance them well myself. You have an issue with your deck wanting to vibrate a lot when you're mowing. And you'll, and you'll see it kind of shuddering around. Uh, that and you can't get the exact angle. So we're going to do a short video, sharpening some blades, probably some time lapses. He's going to probably talk about his new blade sharpener he's got and the balancer and stuff because you know i'm a barbarian when it comes to this stuff dude angle grinder nail on the wall call it a day let's go so we'll see what he's have got have you going balanced on. these you've balanced these with a nail right yeah okay we'll see how balanced they really are well they've been used since but mm -hmm, with still. your nail <laughs> yeah because no matter what because even though it's a circle you can still have it a hair off on the nail oh, yeah. you know so We'll see. So I'm slowly realizing that Lanier Lawn Care is a complete savage when it comes to blades. He's cleaning them, like, everything off of my grass. Like, I was wire brushing them on my truck. I just painted my truck green back here. But, I mean, there's a lot of blades to go through. Purple power, look. Already just turned your hand green. I'm becoming the green machine. Would you consider yourself to have a green thumb? A green thumb. <laughs> sharpening Andy's blades today with the RBG 712 blade grinder. I got the uh, blade grinder, the grip collector, plus an Oregon. Uh, I bought this separate. So uh, I got an extra disc with this, the grip collector and this uh, sharpener for $412 shipped. So uh, I've got another blade in here for it. So when that one goes out, 
I could put a new blade on it. About how long do you think those discs are going to last? Uh, it says 150 sharpens. Okay. I think somewhere around in there. How much is one of those discs? I don't know. I didn't didn't price them because, like I said, when I bought this, it came with an extra disc. Okay. So I don't see it. Uh, I sharpen never said I've got it, and both sides feel the same, and I've never used this side, so they feel the same. But it, it automatically has your 30 degree angle on it too, which is real nice. So we uh, also have the Oregon blade balancer. This thing is awesome. So we're going to show Andy. Uh, how good of an investment this is compared to his nail he's been using. He's been, uh, he sharpens his blades with a, what, an angle grinder? Angle grinder. And uh, then he uses a nail to balance the blades. And this thing is just amazing, totally amazing. You put a fresh set of balanced blades on your mower and no vibration whatsoever. You know when you start getting that vibration real good, you've hit something or, uh, you know, your blades are pretty going out of balance. So we're going to sharpen these blades real quick for him. You just lay it on here. You got your edge right here. It'll go automatically. To balance this and all you do is just stick it on this and then pull this magnet up stop it and as you can tell this side is way off so now it should drop over here so now we'll take a little bit off of this side and sharp like usually when I'm doing an angle grinder it's such a coarse disc that I have to go back through with a file usually just to kind of smooth everything back out you know right but yeah that's pretty sharp it's perfect right yeah that's right where it should be in because you want it to do like almost a complete circle right yeah yep Like I said guys, I've been doing it with an angle grinder and until using this, you never see how actually far off you are on the angle until you try to get the angle back. And the other really cool thing about the Oregon Blade Balancer, besides how easy it is to balance something, you also have this piece right here, which can show you whether a blade is bent or not. Just by taking the blade and lining the edge or the tip of that metal piece to the blade, spinning it around and making sure the other one comes just in contact with it as well. That'll let you know if you have a blade that's bent or not. If you hit it or you see a big gap back there, we'll let you know if that's bent. So that's pretty cool that it comes with multi-features on that one. 
And if your blade just spins out of control like this, you know that it's in perfect balance. So guys, there you go. It's as simple as that, but not really simple because it costs money. The machine's $400, the balancer's 80 bucks. So if you want your blades to stay true, that's obviously the way to go. But that angle grinder life, it ain't so good, man. So guys, I want to thank Danny with Lanier Lawn Care for uh, spending some money on an investment that is a blade sharpener. He's had one before. He had the what? Quarter horsepower? I had the the Oregon. The yeah. Oregon quarter horsepower. But he was telling me it's a headache because the wheel always gets rubbed down. You gotta always change your angle, which would be frustrating. With something like that, we just went through a godly amount of blades. Mm -hmm. Never had to move the machine, just constantly on the same track and just keeping it going. Uh, obviously, I got some of the Encore blades that are from way back in the day to put back <coughs> on the Encore that had just been mangled, man, just from using the angle grinder and just trying to keep them straight, or not necessarily straight, but just sharp with some sort of angle. It took a while to get those back in shape. But good anything, now. it's definitely good now. But anything that's already at that 30 degree angle, it's like five passes and it's sharp. Switch to the other side, five passes and it's sharp. And the balancer makes a world of difference too, from what yeah. I hear. So oh, yeah. when we get these on the machine, we will check them out. So make sure you guys check out Danny with Lanier Lawn Care. We're on almost YouTube. Uh, fixing to hit 5,000, guys. Almost to 5,000. That's pretty gnarly. Almost 5K. We just hit 4,800 today. So that's dope, dude. That's dope, guys. Let's get to 5K. There you go. Get them to 5K, guys. Like always, like, comment, subscribe, and... We'll see you in the next I one. I will see you in the next one. Peace!